In 2001, Malaysia imported nearly 1.32 million metric tons of mineral fertilizers to accommodate its growing agricultural industry, costing approximately 1.14 billion ringgit. This huge dependency on mineral fertilizers prompted a paradigm shift and created the need for a more natural method of food production. As a green alternative, organic biochemical fertilizers were created. But what are biochemical fertilizers and how are they made? To find the answer, we visit All Cosmos Industries, a Malaysian Bionexus status company. Firstly, waste from the cultivation of cocoa, palm oil leaves, and coffee are collected. This waste forms the base material for the manufacture of the fertilizer. They are ground into a fine powder to prepare them for the next process. The powder is brought into a huge mixing area where it is mixed with effective microorganisms. These effective microorganisms accelerate the decomposition of the waste into a simpler form of the compound. A process that in nature could take up to two years can now be completed in a mere 30 days. At all cosmos, the production of these effective microorganisms is carried out in a specialized laboratory. They are produced in a bioreactor to naturally multiply the amount of organisms in a very short time. Then, tests are run on the microorganisms created to ensure that they are suitable for mixing with agricultural waste. Eight species of effective microorganisms are contained in the mixture used, and these species help in accelerating the fermentation process. These microorganisms are also the necessary ingredients in converting the raw material into fertilizer. The base material is fermented with the added effective microorganisms and is aerated during fermentation to help in controlling the temperature. The fermented material is now ready for the next stage. The material is introduced into the automated processing machine, which can be remotely monitored and controlled. In the machine, the material is separated with an infrared ray separator and stored into nine different silos. Then, the levels of nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium are regulated to conform to the formulated requirements. The output is then mixed, ground together and pelletized before it is dried and heated to 100 degrees Celsius. Finally, the product is frozen to below freezing point. The product is packaged and sent to the laboratory for quality control. It is observed under the microscope to ensure that the microorganisms needed for accelerating plant growth and enhancing fruit quality are present. The final product is now ready to be used as an eco-friendly fertilizer. The use of biochemical fertilizers is our biotechnological solution to achieve better agricultural yields and reduce our impact on the environment. This is Biotechnology, building the future today.